Howdy y'all, welcome back to another episode of Just Cooking with Wild Phil. Right now it's holiday season, we're in between Christmas and Thanksgiving. I know there's a lot of parties and stuff going on. I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite party meals is baked burritos. Y'all might be wondering why I'm way down here. It's because I got a special guest going to be on the show today. Come all the way from South America. He's a, a donkey jockey. His name is Pee Wee. Well, I'll introduce y'all to him in just a little while. So, y'all ready? Come on. Let's get to cooking. First thing we're going to do, we got to brown some fresh ground hamburger meat here. So, we're going to take about that much. About that much more. I need some utensils. Uh, let me introduce y'all to my friend Pee Wee. Pee Wee, come on over here and bring those utensils. Say hi to the folks around here in hi. Texas. This is Pee Wee. He's a South American donkey jockey. He's going to be helping me out today. Pee Wee, give him away, will you? Yeah. All right. All right, so we're going to take some stuff. We're going to start out with a little Lee and Paran list of About that much. Of course, we're going to use some liquid smoke, about that much. Start putting the stuff in now, salt, ooh, about that much, a lot of big party. little garlic powder, about that much. Now, y'all know y'all can use fresh ingredients. The only reason why I don't, I don't have a lot of time. So, this is for the working people. Got to work every day and come home and make their food. So. We're going to take a little, little fajita seasoning in now. Just about that much right there. Little onion powder. Y'all see that? About that much. Crank that heat up a little more. How about a little pepper? How about a lot of pepper? We're going to put it on there. Pump it in. There you go. Woo! Song! Of course, we're going to put some chili powder. About that much. Alright, we're going to take this stuff here. I think that's everything I wanted in there. Yep. We're going to take this stuff here. We're going to bust it all up and get it to brown. We're going to take that old broken plunger there and grind that meat, meat up nice and smooth and soft texture. We're going to go and work on this for a little bit. I right, got this meat browned up pretty good. Now I need to take my broken plunger and smash it up. Now where'd my broken plunger go? Pee wee, pee wee, bring me, bring me that broken plunger. I know you got it. He, he kind of fond of it. Oh, thank you there, pee wee. Pee wee, how many donkey races have you won this year anyway? One? Well, that's pretty good considering how it's December. And we're gonna go on and use this broken plunger here. Get this stuff all smashed up in a nice smooth texture. Y'all see that? It's smelling mighty good. That texture's good and smooth now, all broken down. We're gonna cut the fire down on it. Now I need to put some refried beans in there. Hey Pee Wee, why don't you bring me some old refried beans? Thank you, Pee Wee. Pee Wee, what's your donkey's name? Bark. Bark. I bet he's the fastest donkey in South America. Uh -huh. Thank you, Pee Wee. Uh -huh. <laughs> Got them refried beans in there now. Got a couple of cans. Now it's a little thick, so if you want to, you can add some water to it. Hey, Pee Wee. Buddy, can you bring me can you bring me some water? There you go. That's a big old glass you got there. Yeah. I bet that's your personal tea glass or something there, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Alright. Here. Thank you. That's plenty of water. I don't drown in that thing. So we're gonna mix this up. It's gonna get a little bit runny. That's alright, we're gonna pick it back up. We'll do that, let it thicken up a little bit more and mix it up real good and we'll be ready to go to step two with baked burritos. Song. Woo! Smelling good. 
All right, them refried beans are mixed up nice and good. Sticking back up, smelling good, looks good, and tastes good. Now, the reason why I brought Pee Wee down here from South America, got him off the donkey circuit there. He's an expert in making homemade flour tortillas. Pee Wee, bring me them tortillas you made. And look at that, he packaged them too. Man, you just too good, Pee Wee. So on. Thank you, Pee Wee. Wow. We got them tortillas Pee Wee made. Or well, he says he made, I don't know, but they look pretty good and they're great big ones. Oh, look. He, he made a little one for himself. Ain't that cute? He made these for us. He made a little tiny one just for himself. Ain't just so cute, dude. All right, we're going to show you how to make these baked burritos. We're going to take the burrito meat. We're going to slap some right across the middle out. Just like that. We're going to take this cheese. We're going to put some cheese in it. We're going to take some of them jalapenos. We don't have to do them all, but some of them I like jalapenos, so I'm going to put jalapeno in mine. What we're going to do, we're going to fold it, tuck it, fold it, and tuck it. And we're going to roll it up like that. And keep them in, tucked in, just like that. Now, the way we're going to tell if there's jalapeno or not, we're going to take one of them jalapenos and put it right on top. We're going to put a little cheese on there, and it's going to keep that jalapeno in place when we bake it. We're going to go on and make them all, some with, some without jalapeno. Some with, some without cheese, because not everybody likes all that stuff. Me, I like it all. Okay, so we'll see you in a little bit. All right, y'all see this? When these burritos are done. I got some with jalapeno, some without jalapeno, some without cheese. And he ain't got these little bitty, but that Pee Wee made those little bitty tortillas for himself. Well, I made him a couple of them there. You know, he can't eat very much. He's not a really big guy. Anyway, what we do, we're going to bake these things twice. First time, we're going to turn it on bake, and we're going to put it on about 400. We're going to stick them in there and let it heat up with the oven. The oven doesn't have to be hot. Just stick them in there when you turn your oven on. Let it heat up. When you hear that thing click after a few minutes, that's pretty much about what you want. Well, then you're going to switch it from bake to broil. Leave it on 400. Leave them in there. And what it's going to do is it's going to brown this side. The first time it browns the bottom of them, this time it's going to brown the top of them. They're going to be good and crispy just like they were fried burritos. If you ain't going to have all that oil and grease in them. They're going to be good and crunchy. And you're going to love it. I guarantee it. Next, I'm going to make you some guacamole. What I like to call my holy guacamole to go with it. So we'll go to that here in just a minute. Let me put these in the oven. Time to make the holy guacamole. My buddy Pee Wee there said he's going to bring me a gift from South America down there in Chile. Pee Wee, why'd you bring me? You got something I make holy guacamole with? Alright. Two fresh avocados from Chile. Woo! Let's get to making this stuff. Thank you very much, Pee Wee. Let's get to making that holy guacamole. These fresh, soft avocados from Chile that Pee Wee brought me. That sure was nice of him. I bet it's all you can do to carry these big old things. You know he's not that big of a boy. And these are some soft, ripe avocados. Look at that. That's what we like right there. We're going to cut them all the way around. The softer, the better. All the way around. See that seed in there? That's how you get that seed out, just like that. Take that spoon and knock, the, <laughs> knock it off there and let it run across the stove there. There we go. Now we're going to take this spoon and we're going to dig out all this good old avocado meat. It should pop right out in the good and ripe. See, look at that. Not a problem at all. Nice and soft. Boy, it's going to be some good eating. I know Pee Wee likes them. I like them. I know the cameraman Bubba likes them. Little AJ likes them. Yeah, get all that good stuff in there like that. All right, there's another little, little spot on there. Looks like a little too ripe. We're gonna take it back out. All right. Now what we're going to do here, I'm going to get my rag and wipe off some of this avocado off my fingers here, a little bit off my rag, spoon. Alright, 
Let me get these big old avocado cups out of the way. We're going to take a couple of jalapenos here. Not a bunch, just a couple little bitty ones there. We're going to cut them right up in the pieces out. And we're getting all that. You all see that? We'll cut them up real small and fine. We don't want nothing to jump out and bite you while you eat that stuff. So we just going to chop them up real good, real fine. that so it's nice and just nice little mess and that's part of oh y'all know how much I like measuring that's part of about oh, about that much so we're gonna put that in there and then we're gonna take some of this green salsa here called salsa birdie we're gonna take our spoon we're gonna stir it up a little bit we're gonna take some of that we're gonna put a little bit of that in there about that much more do like that. Now we're gonna take some. That's what they call on this. They call on this just regular old red salsa. So we're gonna take some of this. We're gonna see that. We're gonna put that in there with it. About that much more. Do like that. And we're gonna take a little bit of salt. We have a little salt in it. About that much. We ain't gonna put all that in there. That's probably too much. We have more avocado in there we would, but since we don't, we won't. We're going to take a little bit of this black pepper. We're going to put a little bit of that in there with it. Do it like that. I say it's got plenty of pepper in there, don't it? Alright, we're going to take this old thing right here. Done cleaned it off since we used it the last time there on that beat. So broken plunger. We're just going to get to smashing and smashing this salsa up. All them goodies in there. Make some that whole lot moly guacamole. And I guarantee you it's gonna be so good. Woo dog, it'll cure what else, yeah. I guarantee you that. We're just gonna smash it and mash it and crash it and do it like that. You know, I'll give me a second, I'm gonna show it to you what it look like. It's all mashed up just like that. Hey, what it look like right there? Look at that. Don't that look good? It's on. Now we got to check on our stuff cooking. I just got these burritos out of the oven. See how they're nice, brown, toasted, and crispy, and crunchy. Looking mighty good. Looking mighty good. Let me go round up Pee Wee. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna try this stuff out. Alright, I found Pee Wee. Pee Wee, you got me a spatula or something I can get these things with? Thank you very much. We're going to get one out and test Pee Wee. You ready to test one? They look mighty good. Alright, we're just going to get one of these plain Jane ones right here. I'm going to take it out and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut a little piece off. Cut me a little piece off of it. Ooh, look at that. That look good, don't it? Mm-mm-mm. It's hot, but it's good. Baby, you want to taste a little bit? Mm-hmm. All right. Let me cut your little piece off here. How that? Here you go. Try that. I think he likes it, man. All right. All right, Pee Wee, I sure like to thank you for coming all the way down from South America and giving up your donkey racing there for a little while. Won't you wave bye bye to everybody? I sure appreciate you having me on the show and I thank you. Until next time, I'll see you for then. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's. Bye, y'all. <laughs>